For today's highs, warm, very warm for this time of year. We're pushing it over 10 degrees above average all across the board. Upper 70s to even low 80s possible in some spots, but the good news is it's not going to be as windy as the last couple of days. South southwest wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour with a mostly sunny sky to the south and east, mainly in the 60s and low 70s. But we've got some big changes on the way, including rain and snow. We've got heavy rain moving in, especially late tonight and into very early tomorrow morning. And then as we head towards Thursday morning during commute time between about 6 to 8 a.m. Showers are going to be on and off with more of the same for the rest of Thursday. So don't expect consistent rainfall tomorrow, but it will be on and off. Rainfall totals will range anywhere from a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch with isolated higher amounts, especially in the mountains where we could see over an inch of rainfall. So that hasn't changed and neither has the snowfall totals. We could see about two to six inches above 8,000 feet. Biggest impacts, the same, ponding on roads, low visibility, and we could even hear a few rumbles of thunder late tonight into early tomorrow morning. So here's a look at the system that's going to bring us all this moisture. It's still off the coast of Baja, California, but it's going to start moving to the east as we head into the next several hours. As it does so, we're going to start to see that rainfall pile in. So here is a look at the latest timing, zooming in a little closer to home. Right around 6 p.m. or a little bit before then, we could see a few light showers pass through the area, especially to the east of Tucson and also in central parts of Pima County, but the heavy stuff arrives late tonight, right around midnight actually into early tomorrow morning. So really heavy rainfall. We could see some embedded thunderstorms in there too. By about 4 a.m., that first band of heavy rainfall will be to the east, passing through Graham and Greenlee County. Of course, high elevation snow is expected too, but notice how we kind of start to see those showers become a little bit more scattered and isolated. So we're going to see some waves of rainfall. It will be on and off and kind of spotty throughout the day on Thursday, but still keep your umbrella close by throughout the day tomorrow. Few lingering showers will be possible late Thursday into early Friday morning too. Here's an idea of how much rainfall we're going to pick up again about a quarter of an inch to a half inch to three quarters of an inch in some of those higher total spots. Oracle may be seeing a little over an inch of rain three quarters near Casa Grande with lower amounts the farther west you live. So places like Ajo just seeing a quarter of an inch and then for snowfall above 8000 feet we could see about two to six inches and below that maybe above 7000 feet we could see a little bit of minor accumulation on grassy surfaces, cold surfaces like car tops and rooftops. So places like Summer Haven might see more of that. Low 60s tomorrow, so a big cool down too with more of the same through Friday and Saturday. Most of us will dry out by Thursday night, but again, a few lingering mountain showers possible on Friday morning and then getting much colder for the overnight lows over the weekend.